Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Liz and today we are going over um, the final completion of the She Codes Plus. We're going to go over my final project and kind of details about that. So as you can see, we're looking at the different workshops that She Codes provides or offers um, for money, clearly. <laughs> but um, I took the She Codes Basics back in uh, December of last year when I had a lot of vacation. And that was a three week class. And it was about five hours of work a week, I will say about five, five to six, maybe. Um, then I ended up taking She Codes Plus, mainly because I'm trying to build my own website. And I ran into a knowledge barrier and realized that it was way too hard to do this without like, taking a class on it first. <laughs> so I took She Codes Plus and that was eight weeks um, for five hours of work a week. So I just did it on the weekends. So Saturday and Sunday, I blocked out time. Now I will say like, because you need to take breaks in between, it felt like more than five hours a week, but like both Saturday and Sunday were like booked, but I was typically done by Sunday. I feel like around like one or two. So it's like a like most of Saturday and a little bit of Sunday. So if we look at here, we have one real project that was for She Codes Basics. This one, the, the project was to create a weather app, um, which basically had to use an API to call like real life data for your weather app. And these are the kind of technologies that you learn. So it was HTML, CSS, JavaScript, your main ones, right? This is a VS Code editor. So you obviously have to download some sort of editor for to structure your code. API, so API calls, which I thought was very cool because um, everyone's talking about APIs, I feel like, and I was like, what the frick is an API, which I might do a video on, so stay tuned. GitHub, which I did do a video on, so I'll link it below. Bootstrap, also did a video on that, link it below. And then hosting your site on Netlify, which I am looking forward to making a video for that one um, because I just feel like no one explains this stuff to you and you just kind of are like thrown into this world like if you want to have a website, you can either go two routes, right? You can go and do Wix or like uh, Squarespace and, and they kind of build it for you or you kind of, it's more graphic design or you can go and like actually code it yourself. That's the one that I'm going for. And then you have to learn like all these technologies that you didn't even know existed. And I'm like, wow, this is confusing. Um, so right here, this one I think was about hundred bucks. This She Codes Plus, I think it retails for like 700, but... I got it on one of those flash sales because it was like National Women's Day. So I got it for like 540, I believe. So that's She Codes Plus. Now they do have a new one, She Codes Responsive, which I don't know what the responsive is or Flexbox or SEO. Um, so that would be something I might look into taking the next few classes. And then there's React, which that one also looks very cool. But again, that's like another additional five weeks and then another eight weeks or maybe it adds on, I'm not sure. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but so far, um, I really enjoyed my She Codes Plus class. I ended up taking, it took 10 weeks for me because you can get up to three extensions and I took two extensions because I don't know why I thought taking a, a class in the summer would be easy. It was not. So let's just go to my workshop here. So you can see what it looks like. I did do a video on the introduction, but now that I'm complete with the class, we're just gonna go high level here. So the first week was kind of a refresher um, on, of HTML and CSS. The second week, you started to do like more user interface development. So forms and stuff like that, you learned a little bit about Bootstrap. Um, then week three, you get into JavaScript. So you can kind of see a lot of JavaScript stuff. Then you get into JavaScript functions. So this is still all review up until up until week five. It was pretty much review with a little extra videos. And then you learn APIs, which that was the coolest for me because I've heard about APIs, but did not know much about them. So you go, you, you find out what Ajax is and how to call an API. And the API we were using is like a weather API. Then we go into week six and we do more of development workflow. So you're going to basically download GitHub, figure out how to host your site using Netlify, stuff like that. So I'll link, I'll link that below. 
And then your next two weeks are you actually building the project. So how I did mine was as I was watching the videos, there's no challenges for these ones. So the other ones, weeks one through six had challenges. So after every video, you did a challenge. And then if you completed that, you did a solution or you got to see the solution. Week seven and eight, there were no like challenges because you're literally supposed to build the project. Like that's your goal. So what I did is I just like watched the video alongside. So you click here and I watched this video alongside as I was coding my own stuff. So as he was coding, I added code to mine. So this is like an overview of what the project is, but um, we'll see if we have another one. So as he was doing stuff, I was coding alongside. So you can kind of see there's some coding happening here. And then I would just pull up my code, my VS code on, on a different monitor and code alongside and do mine on the side of his. So that was week seven. And then I just finished week eight, literally yesterday, turned in my homework and I'm done. So and then I got the certificate. So what's cool is that you can link your certificate on your LinkedIn. So if we go here, we'll look at kind of what my weather app looks like. So this is my weather app. You can basically search any city. Um, so you have basically on the left, you have a forecast for the week. So I could put in like Paris and it will change your forecast. And then it changes this. And then I, I wanted to like change the photo, but I was like, he was not doing anything with photos. And I was like, I'm just gonna leave it as one picture and whatever. What's cool about this is this is real life data pulled from an API. And then you can click view open source code at the bottom. And this is open source, so I'll link this below. And you can literally go in and look at my code and how long it took me. So you can kind of see 20 days ago, I did something and then six days ago I did something else and then 20 hours ago I did something else. So, and you can literally like take a look at my code. So it's kind of crazy. So that's kind of why Git, GitHub is there. It's like other people can look at your code, copy your code, but also if you like lose your computer, it's all stored here. So that was my final project. Um, and I'll go into depth of the code maybe for a future video, I'm just kind of doing an overview of how the how the class was structured. I very much enjoyed it. What I ended up doing is I took notes. So in Notion, I went and I made a class called She Codes Plus. And within here, I need to update this to complete it. And I put the topic, computer science, who the teacher was, my certificate, how much it costs. Um, and I have all this stuff, but what's cool, so this is like my table of contents. Uh, so we'll go down to certificate. So here's my certificate proof that I actually did something with my life. Just kidding. Uh, and then I, uh, along the way, I took uh, like snips and notes so you can kind of see what my notes look like. Um, and then I also had code and stuff so you can see you can code with a notion. So that's how I took notes in the beginning. And then when I was building my app, it was just like, I didn't really need to take notes because I was just building. But what's cool is you can put this on your LinkedIn. So if we go on LinkedIn, here's my LinkedIn. Yay, say hi. Uh, here we go. Uh, at the bottom, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can link your certificate on here. So you can see front end development, she codes plus. And it's, it's pretty cool because somebody could like go in here and see your credential. And then bam, they know that like you're doing something with your life that's like above and beyond what your actual career is in. So I liked that. Um, <clears throat> totally recommend linking your stuff. I have the She Codes, the first one, the basics linked on my LinkedIn. So it's kind of cool, but I will link this below so you guys can kind of play around with it and see what you think. Um, <clears throat> I would totally recommend this as to go on from She Codes Basics on to She Codes Plus. There's lots of review. I took them like six months apart and I did fine. So I wouldn't worry about like, oh, it's been too long or whatever. Um, super cool. Now I have a cool project I can show off. Kind of random skills that I'm just like, cool. I'm, I like, I paid 500 bucks and I feel like I got my money's worth, you know? I mean, it's a lot of money, 
but if you end up going into like front end development, this is like nothing compared to going to an actual university and <clears throat> paying per credit. That's insane. So I think I'm at the point where I could potentially get a job in front end development. I think it would be like, I would have to practice so much more because I'm not like fluent. I really had to like follow along. But <clears throat> if I continued on, I definitely feel like I could go get a job in front end development. Although that's not really what I want to do. So this is all so I can build my stupid website. It's just Liz.org because this is what she looks like right now and she looks sad and depressed. So I'm upset. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, that was my final project. I highly recommend the course and Matt is a great teacher and I will link everything below.